Good Friday, everyone. Our weather map shows lots of showers and thunderstorms across the central and northern U.S. Got severe weather from Utah down into New Mexico. They had some severe weather over there yesterday. And then we got some severe weather from Montana down into Nebraska. And then back up through Wisconsin, you see the areas there shaded in yellow. The areas shaded in red are for flood risk. We'll be keeping an eye on that area of the country, especially around Iowa, Illinois, Missouri, as we get into Sunday, because some of those storms that develop may try to push into our neck of the woods from the northwest by Sunday night. And anytime we get complexes of storms like that, they can pack a little bit of a punch. I'll keep a close eye on it for you. Elsewhere across the country, we see showers and thunderstorms hugging the um, Gulf and Atlantic coast. And that down there at the uh, southeast coast, you see that area of low pressure off the coast of Florida. That's a tropical disturbance that we've been tracking for several days could become a name storm but regardless it's going to be a have low impacts but it will have lots of showers and thunderstorms and gusty winds for folks along the coast of georgia and florida and even south carolina as we go through the weekend look at our five-day forecast brought to us by clearview closet and blind Mostly sunny for Friday and Saturday. Highs right about 90. Overnight lows in the upper 60s. Very hot, very humid. Be safe out in the heat, folks. By Sunday, we've now lowered the rain chances down to about 20% for Sunday afternoon and evening. So an isolated shower or storm somewhere on the plateau. A very hot, a very humid day. But then overnight, Sunday night, rain chances increase to 50% as we'll be tracking some storms that may move in from move, may move in on us from the northwest. West. Um, I'll keep a close eye on that for you. By Monday and Tuesday, we're back down to 30% chances for just an isolated shower storm across the Cumberland Plateau. Continued hot and humid. Premier Generators brings us our threat graphic, and they, we now have to start talking a little bit about Sunday night. And timing is uncertain, but um, straight line winds are almost always the main risk with these complexes that may drop in on us um, from the northwest. And uh, I'll have more information on this as we get closer to time, but right now, low end risk for some straight line winds with some storms Sunday night. On this day in 2000, lightning strikes the Saksani Apartments, one of the oldest apartment complexes in Cookville. Of all kinds of fire damage, it was uh, when it was built, code regulations did not require draft stop walls in the attic, which made the situation so much worse. Damage estimated at $1 million. In 2005, a slow-moving thunderstorm dumped up to a foot of hail in southeastern portions of Colorado Springs, Colorado. Snow plows had to be used to clear a route through a major thoroughfare in the city. Heavy rainfall from the storm left up to four feet of water in city streets. Trapping dozens of motorists. They had a similar situation to this in New Mexico either yesterday or the day before yesterday. There was so much hail on the interstate that people couldn't drive. They got stuck in the hail and had to wait for folks to come clear it out or for it to just melt. Pretty interesting situation. You folks have a wonderful Friday and keep looking up. And for more weather information and your Friday funny, just go to meteorologistmart.com.